Hey coach, in this video we're going to talk about should you rent a gym for your basketball business or should you just go outdoors and use the local uh, parks. My name is Nick Aldero and I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. If you're looking to connect after this video, uh, you can text me the word GROW. The number will be in the description or the best way is just to schedule a call directly on the calendar that's also in the description. So should you rent a gym or should you go outdoors? Well, you're not going to like this answer, but it depends. Number one, it depends on do you have money already to invest in a gym? Uh, what is the price of the gym? Have you done enough research where you have called um, a good number of of places, schools, churches, where you've gotten a quote on different places? Uh don't just go with the first one. See what else is around there. Uh, unless you are, you really, really need it, and you know, depending on where you live in the world. Um, now, can it work outdoors? Absolutely. So, for someone who has, it's nice weather. Uh, for me, I'm in New Jersey. It's nice weather. You know, it's acceptable to probably be outside up until um, November, November fifteenth, um, and then after that till like. February, mid-February, maybe March, uh, you should probably be inside. So it depends on your season. Do you live in warm weather? Are you in Florida? Are you in California? You can do this outside. Now, if you do it outside, you have to know, okay, what time does the court not have a lot of kids there or people there that they're going to use? How popular is it? Another thing to consider is, um, is it, is it such a not nice looking court that no one ever goes there because it's so run down and like the rims are terrible and the floors, uh, not the floor, the ground is all like jagged and it's that, that like parking lot um, with like the cracks in it. And, you know, how bad is it that nobody ever uses it? So you have to look at those factors. If it's a really, really nice court, there's going to be people there at a certain time. So you have to look, you have to drive around and say, okay, at this time, there's really never anybody here. How many baskets are there at this outdoor court? Right? So is there how often are people there? Is it nice enough to, to do it there? Um, and what is your rain out or inclement weather policy? You know, it could be different for everybody. You know, that's something that we help people with in our program, but that's something that you have to take into consideration. What happens? What do you do if this happens? Right? Um, and I'm not going to tell you what to do for that because everyone's different. And, and again, we, we do help people with that. But you have to just get that down before you start. Maybe you're the type of person that you need, um, you can't have any other variables. Like you need, I need a set, I need a gym time. So I don't have to worry about if it rains or not. Can you do that? Of course. Like going indoors is, is the best bet for you if you want certainty um, as long as you're working with somebody where um, they do what they say they're going to do and, you know, whoever opens the gym does it when you want them to do it and it's on time um, and it's an a, a affordable price. Some places will give a discount if you invest up front um, and, it's a bigger, and it's a bigger risk on your end. So the answer to this question is, should you rent or should you go outside? It depends. You could actually do a hybrid thing where when it's nice out, we're out to, like, for me in New Jersey, I used, I started everything outside. Um, and then when it got to a certain point, I'm like, all right, we're going inside. As long as people know up front what to expect from you, um, it's going to, it's going, you, everything's going to work out. You just have to be very clear in your communication. So if you do have the money up front, I would invest in a gym, right? Because it's, it's certainty. You don't got to worry about the weather. If you don't, and you just want to start and you don't have any overhead, you got to, you got to look at those parks time, uh, day when no one is there, and is it nice enough to do it there, and how consistently can you use it? Um, consistency is very helpful and not being all over the, the place. Parents really like having the schedule laid out for them. Um, hope this video helps. If you're looking to connect, text me the word GROW to the number that's in the description or just schedule a call directly and we can chat. All right, I'll see you next video.